Hello, we're going to configure the sidebar on the Metro Pro theme by Studio Press. Now, all you do with this, you just drag widgets into the sidebar widget area and configure them. There's loads of widgets to choose from. The only thing I think might confuse you are these um, links to your social media accounts. And all these are, are plain text links with a class. You've got to apply a class to the code. So let's see how, how they've been made. What I normally do, I have a draft post. I just save it as a draft. I don't publish the post. I just save it as a draft. And I always keep a draft post to use as a, um, a bit like a HTML editor. I'm using WordPress to edit the code. So all you need to do, just type in Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Twitter, whatever your uh, accounts are, and then highlight the text. So just make sure we're only highlighting the actual text itself, and then just add a link. Click Add Link. I'm using Brian Gardner's links here because we're using the demo content from uh, from the Studio Press uh, theme. Now, we've added these links, but we need to add a little bit of extra code. I'll show you what the code is that we're going to add. We're going to add this. Inside, you've got to edit this um, HTML link. And we're just going to add this bit of code here. The the code is available on the Studio Press site. Now, it's, it's easy to do once you understand what you're doing. So, we want to add this class here. So... Let's go back to our page. We've got to view the text in text view or HTML view. And that lets us see the computer code. I'll just see if I can zoom in a bit there. So if you look at these, they've got like this class of social buttons. So if you copy that, you can get the code from um from the Studio Press site. And all we need to do between the A and the href, we put in this gap that piece of code. So we had just the same link code we had before, but we've added this extra bit of HTML. It says class equals, and then in double quotes, social buttons. Now the last button or the last link needs a class of social buttons, then a gap, and then last, because it's the last one. I'll just show you back on the... Uh, big one. So this is what we've got. We've got... That's the last one. And all the rest, you add this. This is how a link works. But you can do most of the work using WordPress in the... Uh, the, the editor. So you just... Use a visual editor, type your text, highlight the text and add a link, but then you've got to edit the link to add that social buttons class. The, the text you need is actually available on the Studio Press site, but you will have to edit the HTML. Now once you've got the code, don't copy it using visual mode. Go to text mode in your WordPress editor and when you've made the links, just copy the links. And then you paste them into a text widget. So you need to go to your sidebar, primary sidebar, drag a text widget from the widgets area into here. Um, I think this is the one we used. And you just paste your, uh, your link code there. And when you paste your link code into the text widget and save it, you will get the end result of these little square buttons. All that class does is it styles these buttons. Otherwise, you just have a plain link like that. This is another text widget I put in there, and I did it the same way. Let's have a look. I, I made the code using the WordPress editor. We go back to our WordPress editor in here. I just made the code in there using the visual editor. I added an image, a link, a bit of text using the visual editor because it makes it easy to add images there, you see. Then you copy the text. You've got to copy the text so that you get the, the full HTML. It's got all these links and HTML tags in it. You just copy that. And then you paste it into a text widget 
in the primary sidebar. I'm not going to set up the eNews Extended plugin in this video because I made a whole uh, tutorial about setting up this eNews Extended plugin. Um, and I'll put a link under the video, this, this YouTube video, I'll put a link underneath the video to the uh, to a page where you'll be able to find instructions how to do this. It's easy to do once you understand how you do it. All you do, you drag the Genesis, well, you've got to install the Genesis eNews Extended plugin first and then drag that from the widget area into your primary sidebar or wherever else you want um, the, the eNews Extended uh, box to appear. Then you just configure it. You can put things in like um, the title, a bit of text before your sign up box. Got text before here. Um, and you need some code from if you use MailChimp or another email provider, you need some code to make it work. So I've made a, an entire tutorial just about this uh, sign up box. Well, that's it for the sidebar. We'll move on.